Hi, my name is Grace Foley and I'm a PhD student here at Northwestern University in Chicago. I, along with my co-authors, Dr. Michelle Pritchard and Dr. Francesca Duncan, have published a new point of view article in reproduction about a unique cell population in the aging ovary. To begin with, the female reproductive system is the first to age in humans, but the mechanisms by which this occurs remain unclear. In our point of view article, we consider a population of macrophage-derived multinucleated giant cells that are routinely seen in old murin ovaries, but very rarely in young ovaries. Macrophages are necessary for cellular debris clearance and pathogen elimination. From the Greek language, macrophage can literally be translated as big eater and are so named because they engulf their targets in a process known as phagocytosis. Macrophages can fuse to become giant cells, which increases their phagocytic capacity. Macrophage-derived multinucleated giant cells are often seen at the sites of surgical implants, where they contribute to a foreign body response. In normal physiology, a specialized type of giant cell called osteoclasts absorb bone tissue during growth and wound healing. Given these observations, you might be wondering why these macrophage-derived multinucleated giant cells are present in the aging ovary. We wonder the same thing. Are they a cause or consequence of female reproductive aging? The presence of these cells in the aging ovary could be due to several factors, including a response to cellular debris from cyclical ovulation or follicle atresia, an altered ECM environment, or changes in hormone levels. Once in the ovary, these cells may drive aging through mechanisms such as fibrosis or inflammation. Though more research is needed to fully determine the role macrophage-derived giant cells play in the ovary, they are clearly a part of the reproductive aging puzzle. Read our point of view article in Reproduction to learn more about this unique cell population in the aging ovary.